Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. And your house. Father. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! <coughs> Let her go! <coughs> <coughs> Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. <sighs> She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> I'm dying, though. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. Right. We need to get moving. <sighs> the Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? You really should have killed Tazar when you had the chance. Men like that don't forgive. You cut off his hand. Not the kind of thing a person forgets about another person. Clearly I should have. What a prick. Yeah, and now he and 30 of his friends are nearly up our arse. Lovely, Beska. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting dear old Tazal. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Beska, what do you think? By all means, listen to your uncle. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him.
What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asher. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. You found anything? <sighs> Not yet. What's on your mind? We all need to pull together if we're gonna get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I have the faintest idea how we're gonna pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. You see, Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Asha. Beska matters to me. How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. Let me know if you find anything. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. Well, we can't stay here, waiting for you. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground? There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. He's not gonna need that. Asher, the Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is Essos. There's always time for gold. Oh shit. It's them. Monte Prado! Kesirizzi! Shit! Come on! What in seven hells is there's that? a light? Go see if there's a way through. We'll hold them off.
now! Uh, Malcolm! Uh, can you walk? I, I, I'm fine. I've fought wars with worse than this. Hurry! The beast is coming around! Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrid. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. I wouldn't be much of a friend if I did. I wasn't much of a friend for dropping you into the mess in the first place. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. I will never call you my brother, Finn. I wouldn't fucking want you to. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobo to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead.
Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pitt, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Shame you couldn't work things out with him here of all places. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my words, and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice sort. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I've missed you, Uncle. 
I never expected to see you here. A business with a Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Turned back countless threats. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling I am wrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. It was a secret he only wanted you to hear. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. Do you know something? I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north... Take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. Strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder. I used to be frightened of wayward trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Hear the werewoods whisper. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Look, there's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Hmm. Well, that 
Doesn't look right. Maybe try another. No, no. That doesn't seem to work. map that has to turn. Right. Werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. God's watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Gaddy! to never lift one of those again. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forrester. They sell ironwood to the builders. It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? No, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I 
I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones by the fountain. But they can't know it is. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we- What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? It was just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family.
I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. of this. I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round. Lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. But not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter what I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have. Every right! We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill, a snot-nosed fourth bone, parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. 
We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them a lot. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Grip Whitehill came in. Whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. him home. Once he's safe, he can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. We press on. It's no use waiting. We have a plan, my lord. But we must wait for the pieces to come together. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes.
I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Karen. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people passed through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him. But you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Finn can handle himself. I'd bring him to a fight. I'm glad to see he's grown on you. Errol Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this one to the Baltics. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. This isn't fair. 
We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels, being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. So what if I was with him? <laughs> uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well. I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need, more than anything, is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? I'm 
afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand. Can you help me get it out? I have my own affairs to deal with. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... Oh, I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. No. It's not worth your life. Thank you for saying that. I guess I better not die then. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! Goo, don't move. Tom, it's me, hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. I almost lost my footing. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. It's the bill for the wedding. This is more money than I could spend in a lifetime. Me? Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, another bloody letter. Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister guard is back. No, no, it's the other one. Damn it. Hide. I find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye.
You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. It has to be. No, 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 no. Just hurry. Oh. Come on. <gasps> it worked. Is this? Oh, thank the gods. Oh, I found it. Finally. Let's go. Bloody neck! We're not far now. And Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the Whitehills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. Aye. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. She go around her father to help us. She must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what her family's done here. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children. But this could be a trap. Keep it. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. This is old Red Rob's farm. I used to play here when I was young. What's happened to them? It's not enough to take our wood. They must defile our homes. Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly white hill. Well, I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little name and uh, Megan. Hmm, <laughs> I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a part of my early years. So long ago. Forgive me. I... I wasn't sure what I'd find out here. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. 
I longed for Asher to come back, but not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me? I want to know the price before I agree to pay it. I'm no fool. It seems that you are, because you clearly don't understand. Peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'm not afraid of some petulant fourthborn. You should be, because there's a very dangerous fourthborn in your house right now. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Kill me? On my own land? Do you really think this is even your land anymore? No, wretch. Just listen. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my no, head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. That all depends on how Griff carries himself. You'll let my brother decide? Then clearly, you have given yourself over to slaughter. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Lord? Come along, Duncan. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? These are dire times, but I won't kneel to a Whitehill in my own house. Then don't kneel. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. 
and all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard, but I never thought this would happen. I have to say, Maester Ortengren worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Duncan? Duncan? He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you go won't on. be open with me, go then our problems run deeper. Get in there. Go and get in there. 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 Get down there. Get down there. Get down Get down there. Get down there. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> no, no, it was over there. And Ramsay was I'll here. Play how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must be true. I haven't the balls to defy you, lord. Get out of my house now, all of you. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before, but um, it gets better every time. Stop this. Or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favorite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello <laughs> to your father. Oh, no, Ethan! <laughs> Down. <laughs> Well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. <laughs> what about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty my blade with your blood. <laughs> This ends now. It's over. Come Make on, his mother it. watch. No fucking now we'll really have some fun. Enough. Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And you'll regret what you've done here. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick. Roderick. Now is not the time. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. Who else volunteered? Cotter and Finn offered their sword. And so did Brit. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. 
But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. And no more talk of the North Grove, either. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? And make sure they're ready. Doff! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett. You don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. It's real, Finn. Aye. He says it's somewhere on the other side of the wall. Oh, so you're both assholes and idiots, huh? Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? Where'd you hear these rumors? You know, I can't really remember. I, uh, I hear things around Castle Black. People talk. Not about the North Grove, they don't. But you do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. What does it matter? It was nothing. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Cotter, every blade in Castle Black will slit your throat if they find out. You're their sworn enemy. You don't need to tell me that. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there!
I'm going back home, no matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> you alright? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher... I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. There was no time to think. Beska was just closer. You can lie to yourself, Asher. But don't lie to me. I know you too well. Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. Well, come on, Malcolm. Why are you making this such a big thing? We're defined by the choices we make, Asher. One day, you'll understand that. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft. How well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Master fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. Great friends indeed. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <sighs> Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! Look, Croft. What we did was wrong. I'm sorry for that. You heard him, now let him go! You're not getting out of this with a fucking apology! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha! Hey, a hey, man hey! Betrays my trust. There's a Stop price this! Let him go! Enough! No more fucking about! You fucking bastard! Take my eye then! I don't need two to kill you! Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. 
Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. Your sword was always the quickest, Grom. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. A grace pace could coin. I've got wine! Women! We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lines of gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The Second Sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world. Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Yourself thinking about what we'll find out there tomorrow. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Potter with it? Don't ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Not like he's holding something back. Potter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after you tried stealing your map. So you'd rather be friends with a thief than someone who might save your life out there? <sighs> Don't come crawling to me when the wildlings attack. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is gonna wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. This one's still good. I need to light this torch. That's iron wood for sure. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Be a 
this so who's riding it? Mile walk, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's, but this is even better. Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brett. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Had something more painful in mind. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get. Vanish to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It's the last thing your father ever heard. The more we slice, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I'd still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally getting the hang of it, Tuttle. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? <laughs> Let's see if you scream like your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Pig farmer, you're going to slaughter me like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. <sighs> 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 Finish it.
These people are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood forests. Out of the way! And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the north if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again. And this won't get better on its own. I have faith in Mira. I'm sure she can find us the coin we need. We'd better hope we figure something out. With those white hill bastards in our house, we must be wary. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. You're here. Look. Look at this! Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. She bit your man? How did that happen? What did he do to her? That doesn't matter. It matters what she did. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Your men are out of control. That's the problem here. It's your people who don't know the order of things. This girl's as untamed as a wildling. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. Are you afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you What? Are? I'm not afraid. I, I want order. But this house is in a shambles. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. A girl who should know her state. <laughs> that's how I like to see you foresters. Face down in the muck. <laughs> oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. <laughs> you will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Take him, Roiland! My bloody pleasure. I'll fucking kill you myself! No. Make him watch this. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester? Learn your lesson, and stay down. Roderick! I will not yield. You bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Will it be you? Don't you dare! 
You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! Oh, my lord! What?! Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there, or you're next! <coughs> Please, Lord Grip, not the arm! <coughs> if you persist, Lord Roger, you may lose it! <coughs> now, stay down! Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? My lord, please, just stay do it. Down. Stay down. Don't be a fool. Oh, oh, you, you can't. I command you. Let him alone. I'll do as I like. You, you should fear me. I'm in charge here. No. I alone rule this house. Don't think this is over, Roderick. You'll see. I will make you suffer for this. Trust in that. My boy. Careful, he's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. We both know that. You see that? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. Bloody More fool. severe. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us, you looked like yourself again. I couldn't just stand by and let Griff punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'd do it again. A thousand times. I know you would. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. I tried to make him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I'll do it. I am too. Father used to say we foresters are as tough as the ironwood. We are. All of us. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, provoking Griff, it hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? I can't. What? After everything, we just... I can't burn it. Khaleesi will see you now. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully.
Next time on Game of Thrones. What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I... Fuck you and your Queen! Deal with your friend! Nothing ever stays in the past, Asher. Carried. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs>